so I started looking into growing mushrooms and um, not not psilocybin, nothing like that. Just, you know, I just wanted to grow mushrooms. So I go on Amazon and I, and I buy a pink oyster kit and a lion's mane. And I set them up on my counter. I follow the instructions and my girlfriend's looking at me like I'm some sort of weird mad scientist. And I'm like, just all giddy, like a little kid going, I'm going to watch this thing grow. Follow the instructions and boom pink oyster mushroom the size of my head i grow a lion's mane that's like the size of a football and i'm instantly hooked i'm like this is awesome yeah so i start looking online about growing other things and when you google growing mushrooms you always get magic mushroom growing i mean you you, you, <laughs> you, you you're stuck in that world <laughs> you can't even get away from it and, yeah. and i'm looking at it going well you know the techniques are the same so i'm so i'm reading the forums of these guys growing cubensis so that i can learn how to grow you know stropharia or something like that just a normal normal mushroom well looking around uh, on websites for spores and so forth. And, you know, once again, you have to dig through the psilocybe spores to get to the ones that you want to grow. <laughs> and I had a hard time growing the normal mushrooms. They just weren't working for me. I, I was like, just there's something wrong here. Mm -hmm. And I saw all these guys cultivating real psil psilocybe mushrooms and really easy. I'm like, fuck it. I'm not in the government anymore. Uh, I don't have that responsibility. And coincidentally uh two podcasts that i follow tim ferris and ben greenfield uh tim ferris we all know for our work week and then uh ben greenfield super super famous fitness guy uh, just super 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 hyper intelligent and um, they both mentioned taking psilocybin in micro doses in order to help them cognitively and fitness wise and I thought, huh, that's interesting. And it just left a little thing in my head. So I'm on these spore, you know, spore websites and I see this little Simon spores. I'm like, fuck it. Fake name, you know, um, Bitcoin, boom, order it. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, okay, it's going to a PO box. Shows up at the PO box like two weeks later. And here it is. Here's a syringe. And I'm like, no way. So I go home set up my grains and I'm following techniques right there on, uh, on the, on, you know, the famous mushroom growing websites and, um, and it worked and it was, it wasn't much. It was just like maybe five or six little, 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 little fruits popped up and, um, they were pretty, pretty good sized. And, um, I took a spore print of the very first one, just as kind of like a memorial. And then, um, and then I, uh, you know, I had them in a, in a uh, Martha tent. Well, my girlfriend didn't know about it at the time and her brother shows up at my house. And, um, there's kind of a long story about her brother, but this is the first time I met him. And it was actually one of the first times she met him cause they were adopted and he shows up and she's showing him around the house and they, you know, they come into my little office, which looks like a mad scientist lab. So I got jars everywhere and things <laughs> growing and stuff bubbling and <laughs> computer monitors and <laughs> it, awesome. it, it, uh, microscopes. And <laughs> I got everything with everything in there. And, uh, and you know, he's like, what's that? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm growing mushrooms. And he goes, you know, just like everyone, when you say you grow mushrooms, everyone always jokes, oh, magic mushrooms, right? So that's what he <laughs> says, oh, magic mushrooms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, and I look right at him, my, my initial defensive, oh, no, no, just, 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 just edible, you know? And my girlfriend, or, or, or he, he looks at my girlfriend and he goes, oh, that's a shame. And she looked right at me and she goes, yeah, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you grow those? And I look at them both. And I'm like, come here. So I bring them into the garage and just pure chance, pure coincidence. I had my first tray of psilocybes dried in my dehydrator and I pull it out and I show it to him. I go, these are magic mushrooms. These are psilocybin. And, and my girlfriend's like, no way. And I'm like, yeah, for real. Look, they're bluing. This is them. And, uh, her brother, he's like, I want those right now. And so all three of us 
ate one little one. I mean, less than a microdose, right? You know, a little time, like 0.05 gram. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, no effect. You know, but you know, we just ate them, and that was actually the first one I ever really ate any of those those mushrooms. Now, along uh, during this time, I had actually grown a little tiny tamponesis in a jar, and and ate ate that once uh by myself i mean it was so tiny it really didn't do anything but i just wanted to make sure i didn't poison myself is really really what what i was um what i was worried about but but the fruits were that were the were the thing that really made made um me realize man i got something here and he was very adamant that he took some of them home and I'm like, okay. And he's a grown man. He's not like a kid or anything. I mean, he's all, almost 40. And he um, has had um, a difficult life, I guess you could say. And um, and fast forwarding all the way up till now, uh, because I gave him some more, because I was able to grow more, it dragged him out of a multi-year depression. Uh, he hasn't had a job in like two years. And um, he said that he took like a multi-gram dose a few months ago that I had provided him. And he was able to talk on the phone for the first time for three hours with a friend of his wow. and just let it, let it all out. And while he was just while he was on the or afterwards yeah know? yeah 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 because yeah while while he was i guess tripping or, or oh, experiencing that's, yeah that's awesome yeah yeah and and he 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 told me about it. he's like man it just it like it like a hand reached out of somewhere and just dragged him out of this out of this hole yeah. and um and then like a few weeks ago he re- he told me he's like hey man i need job advice because he had two job offers huge paying job offers and he didn't know which one of the high paying job offers to take (laughs) and i was like holy crap yeah and and now he's like super happy he's texting me about his job and he's like oh man check this out you know and and i'm like i can't say that um you know it was just uh just a psilocybin but uh, i know uh it, it had to have helped and and i know he does credit it and he he was very interested um, and specifically, um, psilocybin, not any other treatments. And he's gone through treatment. He's gone through the psychologist and so forth. And, um, so, uh, you know, in effect, it's treatment resistant depression. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he was able to get, drag himself out of the stuff. And I know for a fact that he started to pull himself off of his SSRIs and whatnot. And I know SSRIs are a contraindication for taking psilocybin. So um, that's, you know, those combinations are not supposed to be mixed together, but he's doing so well that, um, you know, he may be able to downregulate the the need of SSRIs and he's, you know, he's good to go. And um, so I'm really, you know, I, I told him go super slow, take it easy.